David, welcome back to St Neots Town TV. 3-0 victory today against Chippenham, last home game of the season. And it was a display full of energy and passion, wasn't it? And um, rightly so, we got a good victory. Yeah, I agree with that. I think uh, first half was difficult. The wind and the breeze today is really hard. I think, I think you can see that where the first half their keeper was kicking basically into our penalty area. And then second half, he could barely reach the halfway line. And that kind of showed in terms of how the match went, which is why when we came in winning 1-0 at half-time, I, I, I was strongly confident that we'd go out and do a job second half. Um, we knew it would be a difficult game. The wind made it a lot harder than what it probably should have been. Um, we knew it would be difficult because we knew that they'd be very physical and very direct with their play. And what we knew we had to do was is stand up and outfight them. And I think we did that. Um, but I think the difference was, I think we out, someone just said to me, you outfought them and you outthought them. And I think that was the key. And, the, and if you look at the two performances with the wind, first half, they had a lot of territory but didn't really create. Second half, we had a lot of territory and created quite a bit. And uh, um, we were just doing a few things that, that they couldn't and weren't able to deal with. And um, I, I think it took about 30 minutes for them actually to get in behind our back four, which is good. We pinned them in very well. Um, and we could have had one or two more goals, I think, in, in general. But being honest, at this point, all I care about is the result. It was a tough, feisty game, wasn't it? And um, I think we had a good official today that seemed to let the game flow, let 50-50s go, and when there was perhaps one decision he could have made, say, for the St Nits, he could have made one for Chippenham as well. So I thought he refereed very, the game very evenly, and he kept it flowing as well, didn't he? Yeah, well, I think, um, yeah, uh, he, he did. Um, I don't think there was anything too controversial in that. I mean, uh, your video will show the, the penalty. Um, that was probably the only thing that could be construed as controversial, but I'm fairly confident without seeing the video back that that will be. There was certainly, if it wasn't, there was certainly one, if not two, in the first half that should have been. Um, I said to, and even I, I turned to the linesman in the first half and said to him, look, that is a penalty. He said, I know. He said, that is a blatant penalty. He said, but I can't tell him from here. Yeah. Um, and uh, but you know, it, uh, as as I said to the linesman, if that happens to anybody else, any other player, if you go up and push a player in the chest and push him out of the way and push him over, that's a that's a free kick anywhere else on the pitch. So it should be a yeah. penalty in the yeah. in the box. We didn't get it first half on two occasions, but fortunately, we got it in the second. Yeah, I'm um, just thinking back to the first half. Like you said, it was pretty even. We may have edged it in terms of creativity, but. Um, Lewis Hilliard seemed right up for it today and he's normally more of a, a player that's sort of calm and laid back but he was he was right up in terms of being pumped up and enthusiastic for the ball and um, put a great cross in didn't he for a great cross to for finish. first goal and second half I thought he looked lively when he was breaking he was getting forward he had some good quality today Lewis uh, and I think probably it, he deserved a goal because he had a couple Deflected of efforts. Deflected shot in he? the first half, didn't he? Yeah, he had a couple of efforts. He had one in the second half as well, I think, didn't yeah. he? Which got a, uh, they got a good block on. Yeah. Um, so I think he did probably deserved a goal today. But yeah, it was a good performance by him. And, and for us, it was one of them performances where you know you just have to make sure that you're safe and doing the right things to get yourself a result. And that's what the players did. I won't be the only Saints fan in thinking that their goalie got what they deserved, got what he deserves today. Because um, Vieira to out muscled his man to win that ball in the box, and he's just done the best he can. He's put a shot through on the goalie, and um, well, he didn't deal with it very well, did he? Shall we say? No, no, he didn't. Um, and uh, like I said in, in the first half, I thought there should have, there was at least one, probably two blatant penalties on corners where where our player's been literally just bundled over by the goalie. And in fairness to the ref, credit to him because. A lot of times referees don't give that sort of thing, but like I said, if it was anywhere else on the pitch, if it was the yeah, other way around, it is, it is a free kick all day. Foul on the goalie. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And this, uh, so the referee did the right thing, I think, today. And uh, I mean, you could argue that if he'd have done it earlier, then, uh, then it wouldn't have continued so much. But at least we got one in the end. And, and I, think, I think we got our just desserts. I mean, we've had 18 shots today. 18 shots. You, you know, you can win two games with 18 shots. Yeah. Um, and uh, that just shows the... I think the difference, in, as I said, in the first half where they had a lot of territory, that in hindsight now and, and kind of what I thought at the time was basically because of the wind, but no real uh, opening for them. Um, and second half, when we had the wind, we just uh, kind of at times run amok a little bit. 
I think. Um, but they're not a bad side, in fairness, they're and, decent, yeah. and they're, they're a difficult nut to crack. And I think they've got some good players, and they probably would, would and should uh, feel like they should have done a lot better this season. Because um, you know, if I was in the position they're in with with that group of players, they've got a little bit of fight about them. They've got a bit of physicality. Um, they probably should be doing a lot better. Um, so it, it wasn't an easy one, and fortunately, we won it. So first and foremost today we've won our battles today and, the, and then the quality and the goals have um, have come through and and the rabble I'd have to say I've got to put a mention in for them today they were noisy from kick off to the end they were terrific today for the last home game yeah fantastic and as you said it was right from the start um, and uh, which was or isn't easy when your team isn't firing on all cylinders in the first half when the wind which is blowing all the water over me as we speak now yeah. is uh, is pinning you back in your own half so that's you know it's easy to kind of especially under the circumstances become a little bit negative about that but they just got behind the players as they do normally and uh, we managed to make sure that we gave them what they deserve in the second half so we're into the last game of the season now, way to frame next weekend. There is some midweek action which could affect our positions in terms of the uh, playoff places. Um, what's your thoughts about the, well, the, the closing curtain of the season? Well, we can't do anything about Tuesday, can we? Yeah. So um, the only thing we can do on Tuesday is train and get ourselves ready for Saturday, which is what we'll do. Um, and then we'll go down to, to Froome on Saturday and try and win the game. And it's as simple as that. That's all we can do. That's what we'll we'll kind of keep our focus on, and hopefully we'll be able to do that. I think if we do that, I think we'll have a good chance of being in the playoffs. And then Frome are going to be um, fighting for all they can because they're um, struggling at the bottom end of the league, aren't they? So that you know they got something to play for, haven't they? Yeah, I don't know how the results went down the bottom today. Someone told me that Alzi been relegated today, so that oh, means right. that they might not be. But nonetheless, that could be a monkey off the back, and that yeah. could set them free a little bit. But you know, we have to do what we can do. We have to do it as best we can. And if we get a result, then great. Um, just cast your minds back now to the, the first game in charge. It was um, New Year's Day, wasn't it, away at Dunstable. Um, how do you feel about the squad and what you've done with St. Neer since you've been here? <laughs> that was, That's a bit of an open-ended question. That, that was a funny, uh, strange couple of days, that, because uh, my first thought when I came to the club was we've got too many players. We had about 23 players. Um, yeah, in the first game, I think we had 11 fit ones. Um, yeah. Well, actually, we didn't have 11 fit ones. We had eight, uh, nine fit ones, one who had the flu and one who hadn't played for three months. Um, and uh, uh, that's all we had. So it was um, it was a strange time. And, uh, of course, then we've literally had game back-to-back -back league games where something riding on it all the time when you've got to make decisions. Yeah. And that's quite difficult, you know. Like pre-season, you can you can give everyone seven, eight games and have a good look at people. Um, we we haven't had that luxury. We've had to make decisions based on what we're seeing in games that that matter and give us points. Um, so I think what we've done is we try to make quick decisions, and you know they're not always going to be right, but we make quick decisions uh, and we try and stick by them and. I think the players that we've brought in have gelled really well and worked really well with the, the good players that we've retained. So uh, on to next week and uh, hopefully we'll have a, a chat at the end of the season um, and see what your final assessment is and uh, how we've done. Fingers crossed, eh? Well, let's hope it's a good one. Um, and uh, I just want to thank all the fans and everybody for, for the time today. I thought, that, as you said, they were great uh, and they have been fantastic. Hopefully we'll get a following. It's a long way to go on Saturday, but hopefully they'll come down. Um, they did in their numbers last week. I noticed that we probably had nearly as many at Dorchester last Saturday as, as Blackpool Fantastic. and Cardiff brought to Ipswich in the championship, <laughs> yeah. which is frightening, frighteningly good from our perspective. Um, and they deserve it. And, and we kind of said before the game today, look, go out and play like a supporter would. Go out and play like one of them lot would. They spend their money travelling down to these places. They spend a lot of their time on the bus following us lot. And uh, we just wanted to see that kind of passion today and we wanted them to play like one of one of the supporters would if they got themselves a chance on the pitch and against a very physical side in demanding conditions I think the players did it. Excellent. Cheers, well I'm really enjoying what you're doing for the club so uh, cheers David. Cheers. All the see best. You soon. See you later.